Welcome back everyone to part three of the mini car sled project. It has been a long time since the last episode, so it's about time I made some more progress. There's really not much left to do other than some testing and probably some final modifications. Other than that, this will be the last episode, but not the end of the mini car sled, as you'll see me use it in future videos. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. All right, so here's the car sled right here. I'm just going to do a quick rundown on to how I made it. Basically this here, the panels, the six panels, or oh actually, uh, yeah, six, sorry. Uh, they're made from mesh bags, the ones you get from grocery stores, they use it to package fruit or veggies. And um, uh, let's see what else, oh there. So this is a yogurt cap from Chobani, those Greek yogurts. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I just took the lid and it's like four sections in there. I use it as a divider and there's about uh, 16 braille lines. So there's four lines each in each hole. Uh, the, the thong line is made from um, those crab pots. Just, I just took it off from the crab pots. And for the left line, we have string and bug sinkers. Uh, I think that's it. Oh yeah, um, this here swivel. So just uh, a bit of a change that I made from previous episode. Um, the knot there wasn't that tight and it's not slipping when I was playing around with it so what I ended up doing is retying it and made it a bit more tighter and I added a drop of glue on there and now it's pretty secure it's not slipping anymore so hopefully it holds up well and also um this here this, this is the horn an improvised one it's just a metal split ring anyway that's it I'm gonna get straight into doing the testing all right so there's, not, there's really not much of a difference between throwing this one and a larger car stand. It's pretty much the same way. You've got this bit here, that you've, well, this section here, which goes around the wrist, and then you, wrap, you pull it tight. After that, you just wrap the line up in your hand, like so. After that, you just grab a section of the car net and you put it into this hand here. Now, with larger car nets, you would wrap, wrap it up a couple more times, but since this is so small, there's really no need to do that. So this is basically what it's like when I throw it. Uh, that wasn't perfect, but you get the idea. It works. Braille lines are also activated right now. As you can see, pockets on the bottom. When I pull in the lines, it creates the pockets, which um, stop, bait, stop the bait fish from escaping. The likelihood of this actually catching something is quite low simply because of how small it is. It's only, well, the diameter of it is less than 60 centimeters. It's not that large, but it's worth a shot. I'm going to keep trying, and if I don't catch anything, I'm going to cheat a bit by uh, burling the water with some chicken. I'm going to throw some bait, some chicken out there, and then hopefully that attracts enough fish into one area, and then I'm just going to go for it, right? No mercy. There's a crab over there. Oh, squeaked it. All right, guys, time for plan B. I'm gonna cut up some chicken, throw it out there, and try and get a lot of bait fish in one area because it's not working at the moment. So I have to do this. I don't yep, I can't see. I think there's no there's nothing in the net. I missed. I just got my net stuck on some oysters. Oh, okay, cool, got it out. So 
so we just caught a load of shrimp just really small ones there's one right there it's trying to escape there we go little shrimps I'm gonna release them oh it's two more over here let's release that as well it's a pretty big off they go they, they move really fast So I was about to pack up, but I saw this cool little tiny fish swim past, so I thought to just throw it out there and see if I can catch him. And I did, and there's like, I don't, I'm not too sure what it is yet, I'm just having, trying to find them. There's a couple in here. Where are they? Oh, there they are. It's these little, I don't know, it's kind of like, they're transparent. I've never actually figured out what this is. I've seen bigger ones, but, you know, I think there's... Oh, wait, what? I think, they, I think they escaped or something, really. Alright, so I'm going to hop onto Fusion 360 and uh, redesign the horn of the cast net. I just got to print it printed. Um, it took about 18 minutes to print, not too long. But all I need to do now is give it a bit of a sand as there are some rough edges on here. And the next part is to attach it onto the cast net and we should be good to go. So let's get straight to it. Alright guys, so I've attached the um, the horn onto the cast net as you can see. Unfortunately the footage showing me how I attached it got corrupted. I don't know how that happened but it's gone now and I can't revive it. So I'm just going to do a quick explanation on how I attached it. Uh, let's just use this bit here, this part here as an example. Uh, pretty much I got my line, I used blue line and I put it through each of the holes on the mesh. And then after that you should have two tag ends and pretty much you put one tag in through the front and one through the back and then you wrap it around a couple times and also you wrap it around the entire horn itself a couple times and then you tie it, tie it off tie it off with a um any knot really any sort of knot I just use like a, a uni knot to tie it and there's about eight holes here and also you need to like try and divide it evenly which is what I tried to do it's not the cleanest uh, the cleanest job that I've done but it works it's really secure and I don't see how this is going to break Let's see what we got. A little tiny brim. Look at that. I just got ourselves a little tiny brim. Let's release it. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it looks like another brim. Yep. Let's release that one as well. And this, this stripey looking brim.
That's another species to add to the list. Yep, yeah, that's it. The project's been a great success, but I'm hungry right now and haven't really been catching any other species, just pretty much the same old brim, transparent fish and the occasional shrimp. So I'm going to head home and grab some food. So we've reached the end of the video and I would like to thank everyone for watching and supporting the project. FAQs will be in the description, so if you have a question and it's not there, just leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next upload.